Hello all. This time around I'm going to be designing a chain link frame in Scanning Canvas. This is the kind of thing that we're going to aim for. So in order to get started just click on New Project and that will bring up your workspace. I'm just going to give the uh, project a name. I just do this as standard, it's always a good idea. And when you come to save it or download it, it's already named. I'm going to go into my basic shapes and drag on a circle. Now I don't need that anymore, so I'm going to minimise that area. And I'm going to bring up the properties uh, box so that I can make some adjustments. Now, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can see what's happening as we do things. First thing that I'm going to do is make sure that the maintain aspect ratio box is clicked. And then I'm going to change the size of the circle to 1.25 inches, one and a quarter. Using the edit menu, I'm also then duplicating it and dropping that down by one quarter of an inch. Selecting both by clicking and dragging, I'm then aligning it both along the center and the middle. And then what I'm going to use is the um, process overlay function to chop out a little bit of that circle. I've just deleted the little bit that was left over, so now all I'm left with is my circular ring or frame. I'm going to go back in and this time I'm going to duplicate again. I'm going to bring that down the mat about two inches and then just make sure that I can get to it. And then I drag, uh, sorry, click and drag, left click and drag, and then align them along the center. I then use my right click function to group them together and then I'm going to duplicate them seven times. So in all, I'll have eight pairs of frames. Now what I'm going to do is select all of them by clicking and dragging and then align along the centre and the middle again. So we've got eight pairs there, all laying on top of each other. Now what I'm going to do is one by one, I'm going to cl um, click on them and type in the angle that I want to um, turn them on. This I've worked out at 22.5 degree intervals so that I get even spacing all the way around my frame. I'll make sure to leave the um, angles in the box at the bottom of this video or over on the blog so that you know what you're working with. You can obviously work uh, whichever way you want. You can also use the green, green rotate handle but that usually goes in 45 um, degree increments. So there we go, that was very quick, I've done that. Now left click, drag and select all of them again and this time I'm going to weld them using that process overlay feature. So there we go, very quickly and very easily we've got a ring of circles. Now I'm just, just for um, pedantic sake, dropping it down to four inches and I'm also changing the colour of the line. This is going to kind of come in helpful in a couple of minutes. Now what I'm using is the create offset line function from the edit menu. I'm dropping the spacing down a little bit. I'm unticking that checkbox and I'm leaving all of the other settings the same. Now what we have is an outer frame, or a mat, if you will, when you're card making. If I just change the line colour on that one, you can see where that features on the design. And that is how you very quickly and easily create a chain link frame. So you can see there, it's fantastic. Now obviously you want to cut these separately, so you'll move them about on the mat. Uh, potentially just putting one to one side and one to the other so that you can load two pieces of cardstock on the mat at the same time. And then obviously once you're done you can go in and save it or download it. To download just click on the download button and then choose whichever option is relevant to you. You can see there obviously by naming it first of all it's already got its name so when I click download it will go straight to my PC with that name and if you've got the uh, Wi-Fi version of the Scan and Cut, obviously this option will highlight as well, so you've got that option. And then to save it, I'm just putting it all back together, just layering it on top of each other, and then clicking on the Save button. And that will then save that to my projects. And there we go. That's all back in my projects now, as you can see. That's the first project on the screen because it's the most recent that I've saved. I can either download it from here or go back in to edit more. But I've no further adjustments. So I hope you've enjoyed this. hope you'll uh, manage to work along with it. 
and I hope you'll get something out of it. 